Hey guys, how's it going? Um, got the uh, other parts uh, rendering right now, so <laughs> hopefully I actually did upload the two um, parts I thought I, I thought I was gonna upload um, on Saturday. So anyway, we're gonna finish this up. Um, not sure how much is gonna be at the butcher. I mean, the last part was pretty exciting, so I guess we're just gonna get right into it. Late afternoon. Just give me a time. <laughs> Screw that! No, I'm skiing. Er, stop smoking. I'm a good cop. Mmm. Nothing like a cold drink. Er, drink. <laughs> Maybe one or two. Uh. Not a lot of choice. <laughs> Ah, come on. Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers, or he doesn't have any. <laughs> I'd go with the latter. <laughs> right. We support NYPD. Not very appetizing. Who's solid? Who'd want to eat this? <laughs> Should I open it? I am a good cop. Oh, aren't you a gentleman? Be wolf? What happened to you? I'm looking for a piece of the magic mirror. Um, wh what? Oh, I was direct. This mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? What? B Bloody Mary? Magic mirror shard? <laughs> what kind of place do you think this is? Don't bullshit me. You're not a very good liar either. What you're looking for, I I think you'd be better off looking at uh, the Lucky Pond. Just yeah, there. Some place like that. You know where it is, right? It's around the corner and a few blocks down. I'll I'm bet sure. you get oh. lucky. I mean, I shouldn't tell him that. <laughs> I, I, I guess that's why they call it. Uh, I'm gonna take a look around. You don't mind. I, Sheriff, I. Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real uh -oh. sorry. Hold on. I, I just gotta go check on that. N don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Uh oh. <laughs> I just have to go see. Press the button. It's just like an alarm. Oh. Shit. What? Damn, that's a lot of meat. <laughs> I got it covered back here, Sheriff. I'll be right out. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Is that even real meat? Let's just talk. Relax, Johan. I just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. Just checking out the merchandise. Come on, damn it. They're acting suspicious. You're such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. Oh, you oh. kidding me? They're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. Who, <laughs> Mary? He's gonna get me killed. What are you doing? Things I do. Use your legs to live, not your back. Huh? You've got hurt that way. Now, what the hell are you doing? Please, please, Bigby. Please, don't. Bigby? What happened to Sheriff? Please, don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. Okay, calm down. Please don't kill me. Listen, just calm the fuck down, okay? I'm not going to hurt some you. answers. Okay. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop or lose both. What would you do? 
It, it was a simple choice to make in the moment. Easy even when they got down a hook in the deep freeze. Hey, you mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The crooked man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Oh, I you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. I'm telling you, they muscled in on me, took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. I'm we'll not see. allowed to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Let's just see. No surprises. Pretty please. Oh, <laughs> we're late for this. <laughs> Use your legs, not your back. Oh. Oh, is it a med lab? Drugs. Oh yeah, he pushed that button, didn't he? Oh, this is where they make the um, glamours, the legal ones. No. What is this place? Yes. I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took. Did you it. warn them? These lights, Johan. You warned them I was here? I had to! You come in here making trouble for me? But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. Well, I'm here now. I'm gonna sort this all out. Hmm. Oh, here are the legal glamours. So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Shackles? Jeez. Really? Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Oh, there's blood. Is this what those loans get you? That crooked piece of shit. Ribbons, chains, it's it's all the fucking same. Hmm. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the crooked man's uh <clears throat> brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a Wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back <laughs> in the homelands. A torture device. Uh. I came over here with the rest of our stories. Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. By breaking their bones and... Hey, Do I really man. need to explain this? Probably not. <laughs> Probably had something on it. Bad they had time to erase it all. This could have been useful. Oh, there's a little bit. Oh, I get all of it. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? These are raw materials for making magic. Anti-green leaf and 
any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Most likely. Anything else? Oh. What the hell is that? What is that? I mean, it's a jacket or a coat, but who is it? I know this isn't your coat. What's it doing here? It's a coat. What's the big yeah. deal about some the, dirty the text like that. It's Oh, it is abuse. I'm sure he handled it just fine. Oh, maybe he's being chained. No time for travelers' checks, huh? Well, I'll leave it. I'm not gonna steal money. That sick piece of. How? We took that back! <laughs> I swear. The shard. It's the Got shard. It. Finally. Oh, something's gonna happen. Hey, hold on. Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Big B. What about me? Oh, that's right. What the hell am I supposed to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't take care, care of them. that I held up my hand. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take them down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Just not. Well, I let the Tweedle guy live. You think he'd be on my side? They're just following orders, so I hope the Tweedles, like, do something in the end to, like, help me out. That'd be awesome. Because, uh, Woody's got my back. <laughs> Sorry, we're closed. I knew you'd do something like that. Was much feared. Who me, Crooked Man, Johan, <laughs> secret villain all along. Evening. Just give me a time, my I God. Don't care who killed the prostitutes? If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, oh, great. What did I just walk into? Bowl Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. Shut your mouth. Buffkin, get this piece in the mirror right I away. I really hope I can With beat you down later on. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. So what else did you find out? I had to get real persuasive with the Jersey Devil down at the Lucky Pawn, but he told me that the Crooked Man's door, to wherever it is he hangs his hat, it moves. It's some kind of magic door. Do you think the mirror will be able to find the door once it's fixed? It's That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, <laughs> I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? Sure thing, sir. Huh? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Don't worry. We'll talk soon. You can count on it. <laughs> I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have what? an idea why? Got me. What? Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little Crane touchy. Had it on him. I don't know about Mary. I have a good working relationship with the mirror. Crane was carrying it for part of the night, at least. I found it in his coat. 
It's uh, pretty amazing it's still intact after the fight, the kidnapping, and then riding around with Bloody Mary for uh, however. Yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you. It doesn't even look like it fits. Science witch, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong. This doesn't look like it fits at all. Look at it. Did you ask about the crooked man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. Great. If you're so for light, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. I can't take Blueberry. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? <laughs> More like I'm at war. You really need some help over there. Yeah, thanks. Go I'm gonna go shut Blueberry down. But just so you know, we can't pay him. What? He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So, just break the news and be done with it, okay? What? Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very clear. I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. Toad, this is the business office, not a bank. You're always talking about glamours and how it's my responsibility. Well, what about your responsibility? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout. Just what's right. I need it, Big B. Well, I wish I could help. Green left us in the lurch here. Just can't be handing out cash unless it's something, you know, urgent. I wish I could help. But... Me and my boy getting shipped off to the farm is pretty bloody urgent to me. That's why I was trying to sell the bloody coat. And Jack was getting ready to crack until you showed up and ruined it. This isn't exactly a new problem with you, Toad. You know that if you're out of glamour, I gotta send you to the farm. Well, how about your friend the pig, hmm? Is he going to the farm too? Yeah, you thought we didn't know about him, huh? A worst kept secret in fable time. He stays out of sight. You're a friend, the rules will bend. Colin stays out of sight, for Mondays at least. Can you say the same? Oh, fine, fine, I get that. But might I propose a very simple solution? If you give me one more chance and hear me out, I'll see a way for me and me boy to stay. I'm not going to ask for any more than I need. I just want to stay. So what do you say? You just give me enough to cover me glamours and we'll call the rest of Walsh. Please, Sheriff, don't take TJ from the only army knows. This old glamour rule is oppressive. I've done nothing wrong, but look different. No, it's not right. Burdening the I'll do what I can. Like this. this world isn't kind of those of us who can't pass for human. Look, I'll try to get you that money and get you another chance, but you have to understand, that's not entirely up to me. Oh, thank you, sir. I knew I could count on you to make me old again. We get this sorted and I'll be glamour to the nines, I will. I'll do what I can. Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. You know that as well as anyone. He won't be a problem. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. <laughs> I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened. 
to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one of it's his all, goons. I think it's about control. But someone yeah. did. If there's one thing I figured out, it's that the crooked man is all about control. It's what he does with the loans at the pawn shop, the magic he peddles, chains, ribbons. Maybe Faith and Lily weren't doing what they were told. Or maybe they just tried to leave. Sheriff, Miss White, I believe the mirror is repaired. <gasps> we got it! I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. <laughs> Is that a good idea? Oh, he I kinda want to know too. waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up too. Oh, is he dead? You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the crooked man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh, that look. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. And looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains <laughs> the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like sure. we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat. And that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Are you having trouble with the rhyme, Sheriff? <laughs> mirror, mirror. No time to pout. So, where does Crooked Man hang out? I don't well, recognize the door. It's a dead giveaway. That's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold on. Ah. Oh. The door. It moves. Oh, it's like it's at, the, it's at the pudding and pie. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. Oh, I don't no, know it's when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the crooked man, make sure you bring him back alive. He alive? has to stand trial. We can't what? just dispense street justice. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way. But we have to there are no guarantees. We could. We have to fight. Law. I can't make that promise. This could turn sour, just depending on how the wind blows. I have to be able to handle it how I see fit. If people are going to have faith in the Fable Town government again, we need to be fair. Show them that we're doing things the right way. I have enough to worry about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. <laughs> I'm always ready. Oh man. Is that it? I think that was it. And I am over the time limit. <laughs> Ooh. I made way too many promises, guys. Um uh, maybe I should have taken some of that money and then given it to Toad. Maybe that's what I should have done. But I don't know. I'm trying to do too many right things. <laughs> I could be like the bad guy or like the anti-hero who doesn't have to follow the rules. It's like always Oh no, there's more! <laughs> go, 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 go! Hello. Right, Ashel. Should I kick it down or open it? I don't know how you're kicking a door that opens that way, but okay. Geronimo! What is it, like Kingdom Hearts? Uh-oh, I'm trapped. Right, asshole, let's do it. Go mess you up. Tim. Who the hell are you? What the 
hell are you doing here? Good evening, Sheriff. I'm That's here to Tim? take you to the boss. Thanks, by the way, for leaving Shake. off Tiny. Tiny Tim. Shake hands. I've outgrown that centuries ago. I have to. Did you put something on me? When they asked me to watch the door, I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. I know you aren't here on a social call, so thanks for not giving me a hard time. What is this place? Or where is it? I know I'm not in Central Park anymore. I'm not sure. I've only ever come in through one of the portals. I don't think you can get in from the actual street. But you can't blame him for wanting to make it hard to find. Yeah. <laughs> I'm supposed to bring you right on in, so if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Right. I don't want to get in trouble. Fine. Fine. Lead on. Please don't lead me into a trap. Trying to be good cop. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. I was a little surprised myself when they asked me to do it. I get it. You have a job to do. But you gotta ask yourself if you want to be involved with this guy. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. Oh no, it's one of these situations like. where he sympathizes he with the guy and job. misleads them. And I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. And if you're here, it can't be good. So I hope you two can come to an understanding. Just find another job. I understand the position you're in, but you don't have to do this. There are other things you could do. So it's just that easy. Maybe not, but you don't want to be a part of this. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. Can't you just wait, wait up, Sheriff? Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of a fucking joke to you? What did I tell you? Stop laughing at me. Oh, yeah? Mate. Oh, that's the guy from the Pudding and Pie. Tell me who the fuck is what back there. there. Problem. I, you know I don't exactly know. I just around. mind the door. And like the boss is boy. there. I'm sure he will prove himself quite handy to have in my pocket. Either he's smart enough to see this is for the best, or dim enough to do as he's told. I say he'd be more useful killed than skinned. Oh, that's the Tweedles. That won't be necessary. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Sup? <laughs> Oh no, who is he? I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating <gasps> sort. It's the guy from Captain Morgan Beer! <gasps> you can go now. Yeah. Thank you, sir. No, not that I would know. <laughs> Minus the um, eye and everything else. <laughs> oh, is this gonna be a brawl? Everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Hey, I'll let you live. Seat, Sheriff. We have a great deal to discuss. Uh, yeah, we do. All right, let's talk. All right, you got me here. Let's talk. Oh, I knew they were gonna do something like that. Cool. Just like the way the first episode ended, right? No, no, the first episode began. He did that. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, I am way over time. <laughs> that was pretty cool, though. It was, it's getting exciting. So, I guess either way, this could either turn into, like, negotiations or it could become, like, a full-out brawl. I don't know. We'll see what happens. Next time on The Wolf Among Us. Dun, dun, dun. I've heard stories about oh, you. Oh, shit. 
In the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait. Hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. Fight, fight, fight! Well, oh. that was great. Alright, what'd you do? Oh, they wanted to send to the farm? Did not try to remove the ribbon. Alright. You and... Wow. 50-50. <laughs> Decided to not... Oh, yeah, yeah, I was gonna go. Agreed to talk with him first. Really? Oh, I guess people got hung up in all the anger, so... I don't know. I'll let him talk. See what he has to say. It's not gonna change anything, though. I'm still gonna take him in. Alright, we'll see how good my memory is. Uh, oh, that was great. <laughs> uh, I'll stretch out, so... Yeah, guys, um, it does it for this. Um, gotta get some things out of the way, like, um, gotta get back in with the guys to play Call of Duty before I can work on The Walking Dead, because I really, really, really want to do it, because I've heard some things from some people, and they say they really, really like the second one. It's a lot darker than the first one, not as hopeful, which I kind of like the darker atmosphere, you know? And it makes the few good things that happen, like, really shine, which I think is pretty awesome. Kind of like this, so... Uh, yeah. Thanks again, like always, and I guess we'll just let the credits roll before I uh, finish up here, so... Um... You know, just for the rest of the day, I'm probably just gonna hang out a little bit, um... Work a little more on Extinction, try and level up some more so I can actually, like, do the, um... Do the Five Relic thing I promised with, uh, Really Rel, and maybe some of his guys. We'll see how it goes, um... Well, you know, if everything goes according to plan, you'll definitely see it, because it'll be on the... <laughs> on my YouTube channel, so... Uh, yeah, just wait for the credits to roll. And, um, yeah, um, if you guys want to play more GTA 5, speaking of which, um, my friend got, my friend has it now, so, um, if you want to see more of that, just put that down below, and of course, if you want to join us, you guys are always welcome, so, yeah, like always, just put the usernames down below, and I'll message you, and we'll see what happens, so, yeah, just, uh, uh kind of tired sitting in this chair. Yeah, um, episode 5 next, That's and that ends the series, so I guess that gives me uh, plenty of time. I guess I'll just go on like a huge speed or a long speed run or long play for The Walking Dead and just get it all done in like three weeks or something like that. But we'll see what happens. Um, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe something might get in the way, but I really hope that's what happens, so I just get I just get completely caught up on everything. But yeah, um, if I didn't tell you guys, I'm going out to college late September, so I've, I'll actually be in college when the game is released, like Advanced Warfare for Call of Duty, so might be a little late on that, but just to let you guys let you know that um, I will get on top of it, definitely, especially over like the breaks, like Thanksgiving, I'm just going to play whenever I can, just to make sure I get the videos that you guys deserve, so yeah, just let you know that, and I think we're at the end. Yes? No? I'm like 15 minutes over the time limit, or like really close to that. Alright! Well, oh, shook the table. Um, anyway, um, thanks again guys, like always. Um, uh, yeah, like I said before, usernames down below, and I'll try to game with you guys. I'm getting that computer in July, so um, if you have a Steam or something like that, then I'm really sorry. I'll do my best to get it immediately when I get my computer, but until then guys, um, Enjoy the rest of your day. Um, probably uploading this on Sunday, so enjoy the rest of your Sunday. And like always, guys, thanks again for sticking around and for all your support. And we'll see you in the next video. Later, guys.